uh, we want to solve the equation combination of 2n uh, taking 3 at a time is equal to 11 combination of n uh, taking 3 at a time so if you are given such an equation uh, before we go to the solving a combination uh, is an, an ordered uh, selection of number of items from a given set okay it's, it's simply a, a, a selection of items where the order is not important so the first thing that you need to, to do is to know how you define a combination okay so a combination is defined using what we call the factorial notation so if you are given combination of n items taking r at a time using factorial notation this is equal to n factorial all over n minus r factorial then r factorial so we need to identify which one is n and which one is r which one is n and which one is r in the two parts of the given equation so i can say this is n this is r for this part and this would be n and this would be r so i'm going to apply the definition of a combination okay now when we say factorial for instance if i say n factorial this is the multiplication of numbers from n in descending order up to one okay it's the multiplication of the first uh, natural numbers up to n so if I, for instance i have what we call maybe i have four factorial this would be equal to four multiplied by three multiplied by two multiplied by one okay in descending order okay so if we say n factorial this is equal to n multiplied by the next number which is smaller to n by one which would be n minus one until such a time when we have one okay so that is the definition of the factorial notation so i'm going to apply this formula to, to the two parts of the equation okay so in our first case n is equal to 2n and r is equal to that so the combination of uh, 2n items taking three at a time will be uh, 2n factorial all over 2n minus r is 3 factorial then 3 factorial is equal to 11 combination of n items taking 3 at a time is equal to n factorial over n minus 3 factorial then 3 factorial now i need to simplify this and solve for n okay so you can see that 3 factorial and 3 factorial appears on both uh, sides of the equation so I can simplify it by multiplying with 3 factorial throughout. The next thing that I'm going to do is now to expand these notations. I'm going to expand these notations. So 2n factorial will be equal to 2n multiplied by 2n minus 1, 2n minus 2, 2n minus 3 until such a time when we have a 1, okay, in that order. It is going to be reducing in that order. So I'm going to apply the definition of a factorial. So this would be 2n multiplied by 2n minus 1, which is the number which is smaller by this by 1. Then here again, I will subtract another one. So it will be 2, 2n minus 3. So because I have something like this in the denominator, I can hand there and put factorial. Okay. Again, I'm dividing with 2n minus 3, then factorial. This is equal to 11. Then I'll expand n, uh, n factorial using the factorial the definition of the factorial which will be n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 multiplied by n minus 3 factorial i'm hinting here because i have a n minus 3 factorial down there okay then we are going to have n minus 3 
factorial. Okay, at this point, I can simplify. You can see this is similar to this, and this is similar to this, so I can simplify. Again, this n appears here, it also appears there. Okay, so I can simplify this one here and simplify that one there, okay, because it appears on both sides of the equation. So I have 2 multiplied by 2n minus 1. Uh, multiplied by 2n minus 2 is equal to 11 multiplied by this and that. So that is what I'm going to write and see how I can simplify and find. Simplifying that statement, we are going to have something like this. Again, we see how we can simplify. When you look at this, 2 is common, so I can factor it out. If I factor out a 2 here, it will multiply with this 2. I'll end up having a 4. Then here I'll have 2n minus 1, and here I'll have n minus 1 because I factored out a 2. This is equal to 11, n minus 1, then n minus c, 2. Now, again I can simplify uh, what appears on both sides of the equation. This one appears here and also appears there. So at this point, I will remain with this. And there I'll remain with 11 multiplied by that. So I can open the brackets. This multiplied by this, we are going to have 8n minus 4 equal to 11n minus uh, 22. Okay? Now, at this stage, I'm going to collect the like terms using the additive inverse. I will eliminate this one here so that it goes there. So to eliminate this one, it will be minus 8n, also minus 8n. Now to eliminate this one, I'll add plus 22, and here I'll add plus 22. In other words, this will be minus 4. This will be plus 22 is equal to 11n minus 8n. So what I'm going to have is 18 is equal to uh, 3n. Divide by 3 divide by 3 both sides, I will have n is equal to 6. Okay, so when you are given such an equation, all you need to do is you apply the definition of uh, a combination. If it was a permutation question, you are going to apply the definition of a permutation. But one thing that you have to know is n is never negative. Okay, so if it was just n like this one, you shouldn't find n equal to negative because sometimes you are going to find two values because maybe you, you are going to end up with a quadratic statement. So if you try to solve it, you are going to maybe end up with two solutions, one being negative or the other one being uh, uh, one negative, the other one positive. So n is never negative. If you are looking for r, r again is never, it's like r should be less or equal to n. Okay. So this is how you solve equations involving combinations. For this and more videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.